Hello, welcome back to Valiant Hearts. This is chapter four and part four of our playthrough. Um, if you guys are interested in watching any other earlier episodes, I will link uh, three in the description. I believe this is the last chapter, as far as I know. Um, so we're gonna finish it up today. I'm predicting sadness, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Let's go, chapter four. Thank you for watching, by the way. As usual, I have my tea ready. Saint yeah! Mihail. Their euphoria was short-lived. Intercepted by German troops who still held San Miel. Carl and Anna were led to the officers' quarters for interrogation. Carl was sent back to fight for the Germans, while Anna was sent to the infirmary to care for soldiers. On April 8th, the French forces launched an assault on San Miel, an opportunity that Carl would not let slip by. Occupying Saint Mihail. Bring it to that guy. Oh! Okay. That's the best. Why can't I hello? Oh. Like wasn't letting me go this way. New diary unlocked. Saint Mihail occupied. Occupied by the Germans from September 1914 as a salient on the front. Saint Mihail was a key strategic position. It also stood on the railway line between Paris and Nancy. The Allies made several unsuccessful attempts to liberate the town before the arrival of the American troops in 1918. Horsies. They're so cute. This way? Wait, you're probably missing stuff. Oh. Oh no, there's gonna be puzzles. <laughs> Something will happen here. Oh, hold on. Sorry. I gave I gave the doggy the paper. Nice. Her hat is still blue. German identification tag. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. <laughs> so cute. Alter Fritte! Hey! Werk was ran! Wait, what do you want? What do you want? Always oh, pet the doggy. Always <laughs> oh, pet the doggy. Was? Oh, good, Oh no. Get the hat. More of this stupid number stuff. Okay, where are these numbers? Oh, that guy's going in. Huh? Oh, we can go out here? Confused what we're doing in this area. What? Ooh, apples. Nice golden apples. Oh, 
The Gazette de Ardennes. The Gazette de Ardennes was a daily newspaper published in Belgium and distributed in the German occupied zone. The newspaper was a German propaganda tool written in French, informing the local population of occupied zones and prisoners of wars from the German and Austro Hungarian empires. Beats of Darren Do? Darren Do? I don't know what that is. Anything else? <laughs> Hmm. Well, we do need those keys. I'm gonna deal with this. Oh. I don't know if dogs can eat apples. Let's take that back. <laughs> I feel like dogs are allergic to random things. Oh, we gotta hit the keys with that. Aha! Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, the apples are this way. Let's give the dog one. Hey, dog, come here. That worked. Okay. I don't know. Like, if we hit the bell first? Go, dog, go! Ah! Ha! 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 Sneaky dog! Amazing! <laughs> uh, this way? Yes. Nice. Oh, that guy doesn't question it. I'm just like, yeah. You're fine to go through there. Whatever. <laughs> Aww. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a flag for the flag pole. I see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I think at least. Would make sense. There we go. I don't think I've ever seen a square flag before. But what did it do? <laughs> what? No, I think I'm good for a hint. I'm trying to tell me to use a hint. Flag that way. Hmm. Maybe I wasn't supposed to use it here? I'm sure we need to put it up. Seems weird that you wouldn't. We got this stuff from here. Is there like... I'm looking for hints for that door. I don't know. Where they would be. It said something about a flag to the left, so let's go see. I can't imagine we're supposed to go all the way back here, though. Oh, Hat and ammo oh. pack. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm trying to look for numbers, like, anywhere, but I'm not seeing anything around. This game got complicated. <laughs> yes. 
I keep seeing these paintings of that guy, but I don't think they actually mean anything. There's packs right there. Give me a pack, sir. <laughs> Please, just be nice. Maybe the time on the wall? Three eleven. puzzle being kind of confusing last time too me being like how does that make Who sense from that yeah. I don't know I don't think it's the clock that one's kind of in between numbers oh is, is it 1870 oh my god of course it's 1870 that's why we needed to use the flag one Eight. Oh no, but there's no zero. Damn it! <laughs> what? There's no more numbers on them. Dang! I was like, oh, oh obviously. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh, there's things on the window. How did I not even see this? One. So eight. One. Five. What does it say up there? Eight, one, five, I guess. Let's hope. I don't know. Fingers crossed. Yes, okay. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> when you're looking past something and you can't see the part, it's like right in front of it. <laughs> Oops. Broken French bayonet. I think I've already gotten some bayonets before. Shit, I wasn't watching. <laughs> Oops. I saw someone sign into you play and I was looking. I had who they were. Yeah, yeah, ooh. That should have killed me, honestly. Probably. No! Actually dead? Just pull him out. Oh jeez, yeah, I think he actually died. <sighs> well that's bad. It's like the first great scene in the entire game. Whoa. Gas, gas, oh jeez, that's creepy. The gas used during the war was heavier than air and so seeped into trenches and tunnels. Pockets of gas might stagnate in shell holes on the battlefield, preventing soldiers from removing their masks, which were restrictive and uncomfortable. Even today, unexploded gas shells still lurk beneath the farmland and fields along the former front. Man, can you imagine? Like, need to be worried about farming because there's crap still there? Oops. Oh, 
Oh god! Okay, don't go there. <laughs> that looks dangerous. <laughs> a wee dram of this strong stuff to give soldiers a hearty nip before strolling into danger. Am I actually supposed to like do this? I can't imagine. Get it. No, <laughs> I don't think that's right. Um... Hmm. Did I miss something? Back this way? I can't imagine the dog will go in there. That looks dangerous. Um, hmm. I don't know! Get it! Yeah, I don't think it's made to flop like that. Hmm. I don't... I don't know how to get this to go! I wonder if I can punch it. Oh, that's looking more promising. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I had the right idea. I just wasn't being aggressive enough. All right. Where are we going now? Where are we going now, boy? Oh, it's one for him. Oh, and then he can go get the other one. He's so cute. Yeah, of course dogs need gas masks. Wait, that makes, makes sense. Of course. Thank it. Oh, thanks. Good job. Oh, jeez. Heavy German helmet. The helmet was introduced to replace the pointed German helmet on the battlefield to protect shoulders from shul soldiers from shrapnel. <laughs> It was much thicker than the French model and offered better protection. Its rim even protected the ears. The price of said protection was that it was much heavier, 1.32 kilograms as opposed to 0.58 kilograms. The heaviest helmet ever to have been produced. Oh. I don't know what that is in pounds, but it sounds pretty heavy. Can't imagine it's very comfortable. Are we going here? Bad music, I don't like it. <laughs> While Carl was about to finally make it back home, Freddy was joining the Canadian troops stationed at Vimy. Hmm. Vimy Ridge! In the sky, George, a British aviator from the Royal Air Force, was spotting the German positions for artillery support. On this day, Canadian troops led the charge. Mm. 
Vimy France. I love, um, so in France and in Canada, we learn that, um, Canadians, like, kind of, like, saved the day in terms of this. And I love, I was, um, dating an American and we were doing, like, facts about, like, questionnaire things about, like, history and stuff. And one of their questions was, like, Something about how the Americans, like, save the day at Vimy Ridge. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I thought it was just funny how different, uh, histories are written. <laughs> oh, jeez. Something us Canadians are very, very proud of. Eh. I don't know if I'd say crowd, but you know. <laughs> what does this do? Oh. Sure. That didn't hit. Wait, where am I attacking? Got it, I guess. I don't actually see what I'm supposed to be hitting. Let's try 20. Are there things shooting at me? Am I blind? <laughs> Am I trying going all the way over? I don't know. <clears throat> oh no, don't make me do this all the way down. Please. like a burning, some burning rubble. They got an achievement, I don't know. I guess I did something. It was an achievement for taking so many shots. Am I supposed to just continue? Well, I wonder. What did we get? A Brody helmet. It's also known as a Tommy or Shrapnel helmet and was worn by all British Empire forces, whether British, Canadian, or Australian troops. Even the American army used it when they first joined the war. Its distinctive form brought it a whole host of other nicknames. Dishpan hat, <laughs> tin pan hat, wash basin, and battle brawler. The Germans called it the salad schussel. Salad bowl. I'm sure any Germans watching this are like, oh, God. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I see. Um, sure. Wait, so I'm supposed to hit it at five? Is that the deal? Forty-five and five? I guess? I think? And then five? Question mark? Okay, there we go. That's the stuff. Now what? Are we moving on? I guess. Alright. Oh god. Run! Oh! Oh god! <laughs> Oops. 
I was watching the background and not the fact that I needed to destroy the the wall that was in the way. <laughs> yeah. Hero. A lot of bombs. Run! Oh god. I get in. Oh, do I need a piece? That I do. Y'all always need a piece. Atch tongue. No explosives. Coins? Canadian coins. <laughs> in 1914, they were minted with the image of King George IV. Canadians in France earned $1.1 per day, corresponding to the average daily wage of an office or factory worker. Ah. You're making a dollar a day? What? Inflation is crazy. Okay, we need to get up there somehow. What can I throw? Nothing to pick up. Maybe something up here? There! There! I get the feeling I'm not supposed to go there yet, judging from how impossible that is. We need that wrench. I don't think there's anything back there. Can I just punch the barrels, I wonder? Oh. It's so simple. Too simple. Working? Too simple. <laughs> I don't think about these sorts of things. Alright, who are we shooting here? Okay, oh no, well, I, I hated you. this. Cannon thing the last time. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Oh, Canadian. Come on, boys. Where do you want me to shoot? I don't know. I thought we were shooting other, like, um, planes. Alright. Here, Mena. <laughs> Let's go! Ah! Oh! <laughs> So don't trail right behind the tank. Lesson learned. Ah. Oh god. I should be so dead right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Silly of them, whoever was driving. Oh shit! <laughs> I love when I just blatantly run. Or oh, to redo all that again? Run right into machine gun fire. Genius. Genius. But a lot of people get squished there <laughs> without realizing. Okay. Oh god, it's pushing me. Ah! Oh my god. It really pushes you. I didn't realize it was actually like 
like a Mario level <laughs> where you gotta keep going. Art is a struggle, yo. See this plane just getting blown up in the background? Yes, I guess. Oh yeah, we have to hit him. Forgot about that element. I can move this, but how? Go until it works. Uh oh. I bombed my own people. I, I was trying to figure out a way to aim it. Yeah. Ooh. Press model. Relief models of hills were made so that soldiers could visualize their objectives. Sacrifices. The Canadians finally managed to take the hill back from the Germans. Whee! The United States entry into the war grew more certain by the week. The last letter from Freddy's younger brother confirmed his country's newfound eagerness to join the fight. Carl was within a few hundred yards of Emile's farm when the rumbling of the French air patrols began thundering through the April sky. Doggy! Oh man. The rural war world during war. With most able-bodied men at the front, farm production still had to continue continue to feed the population. I cannot speak. Women, the elderly, and the children were set to work on farms. The requisitioning of horses made tilling the land even harder. Prisoners of war were also used to help the war effort. Good thing we got these cool masks. Oh boy. Oh. Again, the puncher. I was like, but how do I move? Okay. What do we got here? We got a cart to lift up. We got this that I'm sure lifts up the cart. Oh! Brings down a bucket. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Cute. And then this I assume like makes that go up. Uh -oh. Don't squish me. What? Oops. Two. Where are we going?
All right. Fast? Yeah. like making me kind of claustrophobic. <laughs> I guess that's probably the idea. Ration ticket. Rationing was introduced into occupied zones, especially for bread, as there were not enough there was not enough food to go around. Rationing enabled the authorities to regulate the distribution and quantity of food available and prevent prices soaring. Hey, Hop in, boy. <laughs> He's so cute, just sitting in the little bucket. Alright, I think he can just go up over here. Maybe not. supposed to get him up then what he can't climb ladders can he <laughs> I don't think so If he's up there, that doesn't help us at all. He can't do anything. I wonder if I need to... Okay, I think I see... <laughs> Maybe just going backwards. Hey, what? Baby! Wait, where's the... What? Oh no, what? I can't concentrate with all this. What? Is he actually gonna do it? Okay, I was like, did I do something? Did I do something right? <laughs> oh! Well, there go that explains a lot I didn't realize I could push it okay okay got gotcha. you thank you boy okay then where am I throwing this Through the broken window? Aha! Uh -huh. Ah, oh, finally we can breathe! <laughs> Not just in the game, but my brain. I'm coming. Oh god. So much for being able to breathe. There's a window here. I wonder if we need to break this for some reason. We'll do it in case we do. Uh, Alright. Oh, 
Don't know what that did, but we'll take a guess. Oh, there's a hook here. Or something. Oh, there's a bucket. Or that hook, I assume. Okay. Now you go in there, but I'm not too sure why yet. <laughs> we shall see. What are you doing up there? Again, I don't know if I need to actually break that or not, but we'll try. Um, grab that. Oil lamp. Oh, it opened up this area. Potatoes? Oh, coffee beans. Coffee was sold as beans and neither ground nor roasted. Generally, grocers would prefer to prepare the brew for their customers. Coffee was also home ground in Bougette coffee mills. Bougette? Like the car? Oh, I see. No, this let us. Wait, what? Let us back. We're coming, I promise. I guess I shouldn't promise things. <laughs> that I don't know how to deal with. Did he fell into here, I guess? Uh-oh. Doggy! Hero doggy! He has a baby too. Oh God. Oh my God, no! Mommy. Well, it's like, what do you do? Don't breathe. April 16th, 1917, Emil was still sick. But the general needed every soldier who could stand to launch his big offensive. Once again, it was to be the battle that would bring an end to the war. <sighs> we gotta find people. Oh, 
Yeah, they're all telling me to go that way. I'm like, nah. It's a long way to Tipperary Lyric. I don't know what that is. Oh! Oh, I got three people. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, all those bodies. I'm so quiet, I'm like, there's nothing to say. I don't know if the mic's picking it up, but I just keep, like, sighing. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh no, oh no. A thing. Letter from a Russian officer. Crayon, April 8th, 1917. My dear wife, Elena Kostol... <laughs> Konstantinovna. Nailed it. I am alive and well by the grace of God. We're still fighting, but this is nothing like I imagined. The mud is everywhere and the battles are draining. My men are exhausted and I'm having trouble to get them to fight. They have heard about what's happening and they want to go back home. How are you? Powers, are you safe? Alright. Oh boy. Run! Are we safe to go? No! Our friend! Oh shit. He wouldn't let me pick up his stuff. Oh, we have to watch him die again? That's good. <laughs> Great. Great. He's getting pissed. I don't know what to do. He doesn't have wire cutters. What do you want from me? Oh my god, he killed me. <laughs> he thought I was a traitor, so he killed me, I guess. See if I can grab them or like what I. Oh, we're pulling him away. No, don't just stand there and stare at him. Let's to pull him. Jeez. Oh god, he's so dead. No, he's fine. Okay. Easy peasy. Haha. Go, go, go! Uh oh, uh oh, run right away! How do I change what I'm using? Maybe space. Aha! Okay. Shit. <laughs> Get wire cutters and you just go up and start bashing it with your shovel. That makes sense. Oh shit. Russians on the western front were issued a wooden cartridge for storing personal identification papers, but the cartridge was generally used to keep matches dry. 
That totally makes sense. Run, run, run. Oh, God. Oh. Hmm. Uh-oh. I think I messed up again. <laughs> okay, we're gonna wait till they finish their first shooting. And then we'll go. Are they not gonna go though? Oh, there we go. Okay. Had to plan more. Oh my God. It's so like. I'm pretty good at separating like games from reality. Yeah, it took way too long there. Normally that takes one or two hits. But like. I'm trying to actually like. You know, think about real life and stuff like this happening sometimes, and just how horrifying it must have been. Go, go. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I was hitting to the right. He kind of dug down. It like wouldn't move unless I hit to the right too. I was like, no, don't die. Please, no die. I'll save you. This asshole just in the back, like, you don't run through these gunshots, we're gonna shoot you. Like, hello? <laughs> I assume we need to stop here. Which is really gross to be guarded by bodies, but, you know. Such is war. The Shemin de Dom Offensive. Crowned with success at Verdun, General Nivelle planned a large general offensive in spring 1917 focused on the Ain Front and Shemin de Dame. Dom. Dame. The Germans had already held an overlying position on Allied lines for two years and had installed heavy fortifications and an indigenous, ingenious underground network. Launched on April 16, 1917, stalemate soon set in, and 200,000 men lost their lives in a matter of days. Unis broke out in a number of Allied units. The fa failure of the offensive became a symbol of the violence of trench warfare. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I was not expecting those. My bad. <clears throat> what is that? Oh, a ring. Aw, they made raids to send home to their sweetheart. Further? No! Die. Oh my god, I hate this guy. Run, run! I mean, it probably happened though. If you don't go, you get in trouble. Ah! Oops. 
Let me live. Oh, Jesus. Ah, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh, God. There's more coming. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I think. Oh, no, no, no. I think I picked a pretty lucky uh, first route here, though. Oh, my God. This is so unbelievably stressful. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god, I was not ready. Whoa! I feel like this might take me a few tries. <laughs> Ooh, deep breaths, deep breaths. Okay, I couldn't tell that one was gonna kill me. I was like, look at so far. It's scary. Oops. Oh no, shit! <laughs> oh god! We need more games like this. Just saying. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but. I think so. What? How did that hurt me? Whatever. There was like a part of the front still blocking me. No, stop dying. Sir, you're going too fast. You're gonna get shot. You be careful. You're the only one left. We need you. They still shoot you as you're going down. <laughs> oh, so you have to position yourself like on the car. Be safe. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. How am I alive? Oh my god. Oh my god. What? What the heck just happened? That jerk coming up back like him. Look at me marching all proud. <gasps> oh, I thought his legs fell off. Oh, wow, look at this trooper. He just gets back up and goes. Yes! Yes! <laughs> the blow was fatal. Oh. Okay, I feel kind of bad for being that excited. But he Fenton was mean! Was a bloodbath. Butchery. Oh, I'm sorry. Soon, mutiny spread throughout the French infantry divisions, and the offensive was abandoned. Emile was jailed with the other rebels waiting to be court-martialed. The dogs of war, man's best and most and loyal friend, die. shared the same day to day as the soldiers. Whether carrying messages, saving the wounded, or sweeping for mines, they never failed to fulfill their duty. Aww. What? Oh, is she gonna save them? 
Yay! All right, let's go. Emil's farm. Hero. Oh, Marie. Carl. Strong. Fish, throw, fish, throw. Easy. <gasps> He's coming back! Oops. Good thing we were there to save him. Oh no. Is he dying because I missed that one thing? I feel like this is just part of it. Trust me here. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. Okay, we need a med kit from somewhere. Bar of soap. Soap was the basis for all hygiene. It was obviously used to wash, but also for washing clothes and mess tins. How it was made depended on local recipes, and it soon became a rare commodity during the war as oil became scarcer. Ooh, everyone must have stank so bad. This way. Is there actually a time limit on this? Oh god! Dentist basin. Ugh, the dentist. Yeah, we found it. What's in here? He's dying and we're just shopping around for collectibles. No, he's fine. <sighs> he's fine. Oh god. No. It's fine. Maybe. Damn it. He's still good. Music is so sad. Damn it. No! We're losing him! Oh, she's smiling. It's all gonna be okay. It's all okay. to forget three years of war and exile. <laughs> That's so sweet. Aww. 
After weeks without news of Emile, Marie finally received a letter from her father. Mm. Oh, we're in chains. Uh oh. June 12, 1917, Maisie, France. What are you doing? Time to let me go? Right? Dearest Marie, as the war ends for me, I have no regrets. I've seen too much horror. I hope fate has been more merciful to you. time on earth is brief and mine has been filled with so much joy that I can only be thankful for how much I've been blessed most especially for the wonder you brought into my life I'm gonna cry this letter is my last I've been found guilty by a military court for the death of an officer mm, okay I shouldn't have been it was so not happy. my intention to kill him men mad and though I failed Carl I know <gasps> my sacrifice has not been in vain doggy oh, where'd he go I fought for my country and my liberty my honor is assured since it is the will of God to separate us on earth I hope we'll meet again in heaven Papa. Oh, man. Always. Even though their bodies have long since returned to dust, their sacrifice still lives on. We must strive to cherish their memory and never forget. What a game. It was a very refreshing game. Um, I don't think I've ever played a game like that in terms of um, historical meaning, I guess. Um, but also just, I love the art in it, the art style and the music and everything. Um, even the song is just so beautiful. Yeah, it was a sad ending, but war, man, what does continue to? 
After weeks oh. without news of Emil, Marie finally received a letter oh. from her father. No, I don't want to watch this again. Okay. Yes, I I do not need to see this. <laughs> again, that was that was too much for me. All right, get it, turn it off, turn it off. Oh my goodness, yes, what a masterpiece of a game. That was really nice. Um, wow. Yeah, anyway, um, thank you very much for watching this. <laughs> Bit of an emotional game. Um, it was really, really beautiful. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm sure I will be uploading something again as well shortly. So please feel free to check that out. Um, as I always say, all my social medias are just at Muck Garden, same as my YouTube. If you are interested in taking a look or subbing or anything else along that sorts. Um, you can always find me on twitch.tv slash Garden five days a week, sometimes six. Um, hopefully we'll see you another time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this game as much as I did. Have a good night or day. Or whatever. Take care. Goodbye.